Good morning, St. John's. It is Tuesday, and it's so good to be with you this morning. I pray that you are well and that you are taking care of yourself and of those that you love and that things are going okay for you. Um, I'm curious, what have you been up to? I'd love to know how you are passing your time. Um, comment in the comment below. Tell us how you're spending your time these days. If you're working from home or if you're figuring out different things to do or taking care of your children or whatever you're doing. Um, yesterday I spent the day working on school work with my kids and doing church works and sewing masks for those who need them. Um, if you do need one, let me know and I'll try and get one to you as quick as I can. Um, Sandra had the great idea of putting them in the free pantry and we were left a note saying they would love to have lots to give to their neighbors in Shireman's Town. Um, so I've been making them some more to give to others that live around our church. Um, my sewing skills aren't perfect, but I'm glad to have something to do that feels like I'm doing something for others um, in this time. It's hard sometimes to find things to keep us busy or things to make us happy and I'm curious about that too. What has made you happy lately? What has made you laugh? What has made you, given you joy? Um, our psalm for today from the Psalms of Ascent is 126 today, and that's what it's about. It's about the people of God seeing all that God has done for them and the joy that it gives them. The Lord has done great things for us. So here's a reading of Psalm 126. When the Lord restored the fortunes of Zion, we were like those who dream. Then our mouth was filled with laughter and our tongues with shouts of joy. Then it was said among the nations, the Lord has done great things for them. The Lord has done great things for us, and we rejoiced. Restore the fortunes, O Lord, like the water choruses in the Negev. May those who sow in tears reap with shouts of joy. Those who go out weeping, bearing the seed for sowing, shall come home with shouts of joy, carrying their sheaves. It's really about the joy to come, and perhaps that's what we need to focus on right now. You know, we might be down a little bit, we might be frustrated, we might be all those things the governor announced yesterday for sure. The stay at home is extended to May 8th, so that adds at least another Sunday that we won't be together, though I'm afraid there might be more than that, just so we are safe to be together and are making the right decisions. We'll do that week by week at this point, but we're at least looking at May 8th before we're really out of the stay at home order, and that might be so frustrating to some, and I understand that. Um, but there will be that day when we have tears of joy again and shouts of joy and um, come home carrying our sheaves. Um, I'll tell you in a silly story that this psalm also makes me think of. Maybe it'll give you a little bit of a laugh today. But um, the end of this psalm ends with that they shall come home with shouts of joy carrying their sheaves. And what that made me think of and I'll have to explain it because it's kind of silly, is the television show Little House on the Prairie. Um, I used to love that show when I was young. I wanted to be Laura Ingalls when I grew up, and I would read the books, and I watched the shows, and I think of that show because whenever they were in church, which always took place in the schoolhouse, but it was also the church, and they would always seem like they were singing the same hymn. They were always singing the hymn, Bringing in the Sheaves, if you know that hymn, Bringing in the Sheaves, Bringing in the Sheaves, that one. Um, but I, when I was younger, I just thought they were singing about bringing in the sheets. You know, I truly thought they were singing about getting laundry off the clothesline and that they were coming rejoicing, bringing in the sheets. And I always just assumed that they were happy to have clean sheets. So now whenever I hear that phrase in scripture or in song, that's the image I have. Silly, I know, but definitely a little moment of joy as I read this psalm, remembering watching a show that I really enjoyed and, and not really understanding why they were so happy bringing in their sheets, but then realizing along as I grew that they were talking about bringing in the harvest of God's goodness. And so we too can rejoice in what is to come. We can trust in what is to come, and we can know that God will give us joy in those small moments that are sometimes silly and sometimes crazy, but we know that we are loved and cared for. So let's pray. God, we thank you for small moments of joy right now and for large ones as well, for new babies, for chances to celebrate, for good news that we see on the television or read about for those who are caring for others and giving of themselves. We thank you, Lord, and we trust that you are with us. 
We pray that you would watch over us. We pray that you would be with us. Help us find joy in the moments right now as we are apart, as we are separated. Help us to find the joy that is to come and the joy that is promised through you. Hear us, Lord, as we pray together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory for ever and ever. Amen. Have a wonderful day, my friends, and I pray that you are healthy and safe. And let us let's let's share how we're spending our time. You know, comment below and just lift one another up and, and know that we are loved and cared for. I will see you tomorrow. Um, and I pray that you weather the storms today that are probably coming and we will see what tomorrow what joy tomorrow can bring. Take care of my friends. Bye bye.